everyone. Welcome to a new session from Husco on solutions today. We want to present to you today the Husco set topic, but to go deeper in this theme, um, I will start to introduce ourselves for the beginning. My name is Melvin Joyte. I'm a designer here at Husco for the last 10 years. Um, today with me is Mr. Dirksen, Daniel Dirksen. He is in the technical marketing and is responsive for the yeah, for the project leading of Hasco set today. And um, before we go deeper, I want to introduce you um, how we handle this session today. Um, as usual, we are um, available in the chat for you um, during the whole session and some minutes after it. And I want to um, pleasure you that you use the Q&A tool to send us questions during the session. And at the end of it, um, we try to answer it um, directly live here. And every question what we not handled live, we want to answer after this session today. OK, where is the Q&A tool in Zoom? Um, if you take a look at the bottom line of, um, of your tool, you find two speech bubbles in the bottom line in the black, in the black border. And if you click on that, uh, window will open and a little um, line where you can fill in your questions. It makes it, um, make it for us a much easier to handle it if you use this tool instead of the chat. Okay, so we want to start with Husco Set. Um, before we go in, in a little interview with um, Mr. Daniel Dirksen, um, I want to tell you what Husco Set is. Um, Set is a synonym for standard engineering tool and Husco's intention for it is to um, update the older old tools, um, Darko module or Uni module. Um, it's a special designed um, offline um, software for designers. Um, we want to give you the opportunity to use all our on um, shop details um, also in an offline environment. Um, sometimes it is necessary due to IT security issues to um, uncouple the designer computer from the internet connection to be sure that all your data are safe. And um, yeah, in the next few minutes, in 20 minutes roundabout, um, we want to show you how you can find products in this new tool and what possibilities you have to export the cut data inside of your, um, inside of your um, designer tool. Um, we will talk a little bit about the mode based system, um, a bill of materials, and some other topics. And yeah, I want to start the interview with Daniel. Daniel, can you show us what will happen when we start the software the first time on our computer after we install it? Thank you very much, uh, Melvin, for this uh, nice introduction. I would like to uh, show you um, how the uh, software works live because I think uh, it's more a, a, um, appealed uh, to look at uh, how it actually works instead of just so showing some slides. Uh, therefore, I start a software and the software will boot up all the necessary products uh, in, the, in the background. Um, and as you can see in the start, uh, start screen, we have here a variety of our products which uh, are shown here to you. And um, these are some of our product highlights. Um, you can click and uh, then look at the details of the product and you can also jump directly to the product page uh, where you see uh, all the dimensions, the drawing, product information like uh, medias and also CD data. On the right side we have the opportun opportunity to go into our uh, latest used um, bill of materials and also we can start a new project for example uh, with a new parts list. So if we start the tool the first time our list on the right side is empty so please create a new part list for us to, to have an example today and yeah, maybe you will lost some words about the interface what we can see and how we can find products yeah as you can uh, see now uh, at the moment we have no products in our bill of material for, because we have a, a new project um, but you can see the user interface already here on the right side we see our parts list uh, either way you can choose to don't uh, look at it or you can say I want to look at it uh, all the time. So we have the user, uh, the user interface um, very uh, independent uh, to use for you. Uh, you can choose how you want to use it. Um, 
you will find the uh, Husco categories here. Um, and um, I would say for, for starting, we'll click to a product with these categories. In this case, uh, we try to look at one of our cylinders. We now go for the uh, Z23500. And this is the product details page. You will then see um, we have here our table with the uh, with the uh, with the configurations that you can choose from. Uh, on the top left side, you have the drawing, and on the right side, you have a picture and also some description. You can also choose to change the dimensions and also uh, how much of the screen each of these topics uh, should get. Uh, it's quite up to you how you want to use it. And um, yeah, I will maybe just put this part into my uh, parts list. On the left side you see that here we also have the categories. Um, you can uh, jump to products very fast uh, with this. Now I change the uh, uh, cylinder um, and uh, I choose to use one of these as well. But you can also choose to uh, hide this uh, table here on the left side. So you have even more space for the details of the product. So the, this page is very similar to our online portal. I think um, it is easy for, for you to, to find um, every information you need because you know it from the online portal. Um, some detail is missing for me currently. Do you, do you, can you show us where we can find product brochures, for example? Yeah, that's a also an important topic because the PDFs always have a lot of information for our customers. Uh, with the product brochure is always also attached to the products where you can find uh, all the necessary information about how to uh, mount the, the product and uh, how to put in uh, the hydraulics uh, on this case for, for example. Well, um, and these documents are still available offline for you so it is not necessary to have internet connection to do it. It is installed on your desktop and um, well Daniel maybe you fill our shopping cart a little bit and show us what kind of possibilities we have to get the yeah, most important part for our designers, um, the cut models of these products. Yes, that's uh, indeed an uh, interesting, uh, important topic. Um, for that, uh, you can go into the parts list on the right side. You will see that here you have the opportunity to, to display the CAD data. It will then uh, generate the, um, the model in the background and um, it will appear here. Uh, you can see uh, that you have also uh, possibilities for configuration, which are also uh, like in the portal. You can choose to uh, have the screws uh, ahead or from the right and will change uh, how the screws are mounted on the cylinder to be mounted. Also, of course, uh, as also in, uh, mentioned, we have the mounting installations. Uh, so that you have the installation space uh, in your CAD system uh, which is also available here. One important uh, topic I want to uh, talk about here is uh, we had often in the, uh, in the past questions from designers to have a different kind of, uh, of orientation, uh, orientation uh, or alignment to the uh, coordinate system. This is now possible um, because we are able to go into the settings and uh, choose in the CAD settings that we want to have another alignment. Um, at Husco, uh, we normally go with uh, XV minus uh, injection direction, but it depends on the designer. Uh, we have a lot of different standards in the market, and uh, so you can change orientation and will change also how the parts are transferred into your CAD system. So I can save a lot of time to avoid to rotate every single model by myself. So I get it in my tool directly in this orientation I want yes. to. Well. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Also, uh, if you want to export more than one pro product, you can uh, set an offset uh, for the parts so they don't um, all are on the same spot. Um, default here is 75 millimeters. Uh, if I now go back to my uh, products, if I go and, for example, choose to export both of them, I can also do that. Um, as you can see, they will just align in, in the translation I uh, have chosen in the settings. So here we give you also 
as you can see now we have a little bit of two less offset I can change that here so we are able to export more than one models directly so we can choose any number of um, models in our or parts of our in our in our bomb and um, export it directly um, in our model and I think now we will see that the distance between both models will expand by the value which Daniel introduced there. Um, Daniel, I think um, that is enough here in, in this topic. Um, I want to go further for the mode based assistant. I think it will be a bank in the online um, environment and um, that we are able to use all these functions also on offline without internet connection. Yes, also um, this is a very important topic for us because we have a lot of customers who are frequently using our mold assistant to design their molds um, because uh, it is very easy to, to do in our website uh, and now also in the Hasco set um, because we have this unique uh, own layout editor um, where you can uh, do a lot of stuff. You can. Um, have a double uh, double ejection on the ejection side, for example, or you can go and say, um, I have, for example, uh, a needle um, a needle gate uh, on the hot runner side. Therefore, I need also a ejection assembly on uh, my hot side. So you have a, a lot of possibilities in our tool to adjust your mold base and uh, have it configured. Uh, to you uh, directly. The rest is uh, the same as, uh, as online for, for sure. You have all the um, materials and sizes available from Hasco uh, which uh, you are able to, to design with. So it is a big advantage for, for you to use the small base assistant to collect every single part directly, what kind of bushes, what kind of pillars and screws we need for the whole um, mold base and directly can fill it in in our cut system via the cut click export and as usual. Daniel, thank you for the mode based assistant. I think it is very important to stay it available offline too. Um, on the right side you show us the, um, the bill of materials um, in the beginning of this session. Um, can you go a little bit deeper there? What, what can we do in all these um, or with these projects to handle it? You can jump between uh, your parts list very fast, as you can see here. I have now a, a pre-made uh, parts list, and um, it is quite simple. You have always, of course, the uh, Z number. You have the name. You have the position number. Also, a position reference. The position reference. Uh, if you may ask, what is this position reference? Uh, this is basically a reference that will be printed on your uh, on your labeling when you order the parts. And therefore, you can very easily um, say which part is uh, for which project. If you have a project uh, which uh, or an order with more uh, parts for as for one project. Also, uh, here of course uh, the amount of parts we want to use, and I think this is the basic information that we have on the on the parts, uh, which are very necessary, and. Um, in managing these parts list, you have the possibility to, for example, change your positions. I can now say, okay, this uh, cylinder comes behind of the plates, so now I have the plates all in front of my parts list. Um, as you can see, the position number uh, has not changed. Um, in order for the position number to, to change, um, you can uh, then say, okay, now please do a renumber of this parts list. And then uh, the position numbers will be set after the um, after the uh, um, alignment you did. And um, yeah, this is basically how you can manage uh, your parts list. You can also sort after the position numbers. Uh, you can change from K to P, from K to P1, and all these um, uh, functions that that you are used to uh, to have are also available here. So it is very intuitive to use. Drop and drag function is um, standard today on the on the computer. And um, yeah, if I imagine that I want to uh, reorder some project from the past, or yeah, this tool is very new, so I have no projects 
included today in it. Um, is there any possibility to reload older part lists or whatever, or older projects? Uh, yeah, we have uh, more than one way to, to use this. Um, I have now uh, opened the, the parcels we created earlier. Um, and now we want to add products here. Uh, here we can very easily say we go on import. And um, you can either way, uh, of course, make your parcels to a CSV file and import it here. Uh, you can choose between a semicolon or a comma a CSV file. Uh, which is very important for um, for, uh, for for the worldwide use because different countries have different kind of rules for CSV files. Uh, but we also have the possibility to just go into the Excel list and copy it into our system. Therefore, I have here uh, a prepared uh, parts list, and I will now select all the products in here and copy them into my uh, Haskell set. Now I have all the products here. Uh, the only missing part is, I think, the uh, quantity. Um, therefore, you can also go here and copy it into your system. This is uh, especially necessary if you have a different kind of structure than our CSV file, for example. You don't need to change anything on your side. You can just select the column you want to copy and insert it inside here. So I now say add to the list. In this case, uh, it will be added to the uh, project I had op opened before. And now I have all the products in here. So the importing is uh, very simple to handle. And really fast, I think. Um, may now I have imported my old project um, into set. Um, I can't see any prices here currently um, if I want to, to get it, um, how, how can I get it? Yeah. Uh, we have different possibilities because, uh, as I mentioned before, some of uh, our designers are working offline, but of course they want to share their projects with, uh, with colleagues or they want to email the passes to Hasco to get an official offer. Um, uh, therefore, we can communicate via email or we go directly into web shop. Um, the email works uh, without of an access of internet. You just need to have a connection to a network where you have an email server. So to, to send an email, we need from uh, your side uh, just information about your company and uh, who you are. And then, of course, you also need to choose uh, which branch office from Hasco should be contacted. I will now choose here, for example, Poland. and. Um, I checked all my information here. I say, okay, this is okay for me. And then I can go here and uh, send this email to uh, Hasco. And uh, when I send the inquiry, I will get an offer and then I can order uh, this. You will also get an email to your own account um, so that you know that the email was sent out. And the software will also give you a hint. The parts list has already been sent. So you know when uh, did you send this inquiry to Hasco. Also, if you have uh, sent an order, it will also show uh, when there was an order, for example. So if, we, if I um, didn't want to send this mail directly um, to Hasco, I um, have some other possibilities to get this file out of set? Yeah, we can uh, also, oh, wrong button. Uh, we can also, for example, uh, print or create a PDF as parts list in order or inquiry. Um, then we will just create a new uh, PDF file with all the information on here, uh, which you then can send via email or um, to, uh, to your customers. If I have an uh, internet connection in my environment, sometimes um, I prepared some different um, IT security devices to, um, to stay my data um, safe. Um, can I connect it with my, um, with my online account to avoid to fill in the same data as I tip in online? Yeah. Uh, we have this opportunity for all our customers who, are, who have already uh, an online portal uh, login. Um, you have the possibility to just go here and say, add this, part, uh, add this uh, bill of material to my online shop account. 
Um, I will then go on and uh, say which is my online account here. You don't have to fill in it, this every day. Uh, it is just so you, that you have authentication with this program. And you don't need to uh, yeah, put in all your information which we already have in the online portal from you. Uh, and now it will automatically upload the parts into the web shop. It will give you a notification, um, the upload was correct, and then it will open the standard browser to show you the, uh, the result. Okay, I hope the internet here is working fast. We will see now that the uh, Husko uh, uh, basket is loaded. And here you see now uh, the products which we uh, uh, added the first and then of course all the plates which came uh, via the Excel list. You see all your prices directly uh, here and then you can continue with, uh, with your inquiry or your order. Um, this is very uh, easy to handle. You can uh, choose your delivery options here and everything goes uh, its way. Thank you, Daniel, for the introduction here. Um, so it is easy for us to get some Excel files or CSV files to our own email or to export it per PDF or, um, or a column. Um, also, we have the opportunity to directly import it to our basket online and use all online features um, with this bomb to make an inquiry for it um, or directly order it. Of course, you can see directly the um, availability of all products. I think it is um, very important for you. And yeah, we are at the official end here for today. Um, now we will go on with the questions from you. Um, I will, we, will be, we will be available for the next minutes here and um, we'll take it the Q&A tool. Um, the first question we, we got here is, can you show where we can download Hasco set? Um, I think I didn't say it in the yeah. introduction today, so um, please show us how we are, where we can find this tool on the website. Uh, yeah, perfectly. Um, one of the biggest questions. Uh, we have at the moment, uh, we have here uh, a banner uh, where you can, uh, if you open the hasco.com website, you will directly see uh, the hasco set here. Uh, you can click on it and download the file. Very easy, very simple. And also we have here the video tutorial um, which will then be uploaded in the uh, English version uh, later later today or tomorrow. Um, we will, um, yeah, otherwise, uh, if you are uh, yeah, seeing this video later on, um, you will have the possibility to go on CAD service uh, about Hasco, then on CAD service. And at the bottom, we have also the link to the Hasco set. And uh, so you will find the, the, the download uh, pretty easy. Thank you, Daniel. Um, additionally to that, I can um, um, extend to that. Um, if I install a Pasco set on my computer, um, how can I be sure that I have the latest version of it? How can I update it? Is there um, something automatic um, issue inside of it? Uh, we have, uh, if, you are, if you have a connection to the internet, the Hasco set will always ask uh, the server if there is a new version online. And if there is a new version online, uh, you can choose to download it or you can say I want to download it uh, some other time. Uh, but it will give you the information if we have a new update online and uh, then you are able to, to do the update. Okay, um, one more question. Um, is it um, possible to order directly from Hasco set or is it necessary to click um, to export it to um, the Hasco online portal? Uh, no, you can directly order from the Hasco set. Um, you have the possibility to send uh, this uh, list also directly uh, as an order. So that is not a problem. Uh, you will then get our order confirmation from Hasco and then you have the possibility to directly order also from the Hasco set. Maybe to, to expand this answer a little bit. Um, the main task of Hasco Set was to support um, the designers in his daily job. Um, the focus is here based on the cut service, the bomb management and so on, and to make inquiries and orders. 
Um, we want to use the strength of our online portal here to directly give you the information about the availability of delivery time and to be sure that it is possible, it is necessary to have an online connection to make sure that everyone has the latest and actually it's data here available. Thank you, Daniel, for your explanation. Um, I think um, to don't, uh, don't overextend this session today. We will close um, the Q&A now and um, come back to the open questions in the follow-up here today. And now I will invite you to, um, yeah, to make a trip to Hasco Set, download it from our website, um, have your fun and send us your feedback. If you're missing some um, functions for the future, we want to develop it um, further in the next years. And yeah, we will be happy if you come back to us and give you your feedback about it. Now, we wish you a very nice day today. Um, stay healthy and have fun with Hasco Set. Thank you very much. Bye.